Okay. Okay, I like that. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> It's time, baby. It's time. And considering how many people are already here, I take it that a lot of you already know what this thing is that we're about to showcase. But for the uninitiated, I'm still going to go through the trouble of explaining it and letting you guys know what it is that you're about to witness. This is the best theoretical time video version 8, meaning this is the eighth time this has been done. Does anybody remember what the time of the very first one was? When we first put together a, a, a Best Theoretical Time video, the time that we got was a 59.32. Yeah, it was because we wanted to prove that sub hour was possible, right? 59.32 was the first one that we did. And as you can see by the title of this video, uh, we've come a long way since then. So a couple things you need to know. Best Theoretical Time is basically a community passion project. And the idea is that because TAS is still a little bit preliminary, because TAS is also insane for this game. The community has taken it upon themselves to compile the absolute best segments of every portion of the speedrun, including some theoretical things that you would never actually do in a real speedrun, um, just for the sake of saying that yes, a human could potentially accomplish this one day if you had really good RNG and really good lines and really good movement. Imagine a human TAS. Yeah, that's right. Imagine a human TAS. We have broken the run down into tiny little chunks, and these chunks can come from anywhere. It can be people doing their own runs, like practicing, or doing speedruns on their channel, or it can be people who like, like Cheese Star, for example, who will dedicate literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours to just doing the same five second segment over and over and over and over and over again until they get it perfect to the frame that they want. So it's a combination of all of that put together into what we can essentially call the perfect Super Mario Odyssey human speed run. A lot of this I wanted to keep a surprise for myself. Um, and for that reason, we're gonna be reacting live here. I'm not gonna get DMCA striked for any of this, am I? This is all video game music in here. Major props to uh, Mark Lucas, I think, is who puts the video together, by the way. Um, lots and lots of effort goes into the production value of this video. Yeah, the last Best Theoretical Time video was over a year ago now. Fifty-four, fifteen, baby! Kind of just an explanation that the splices are going to come from a whole bunch of different runners, so the coin counts are going to change. Um, behind my head, by the way, uh, BTTV version 7 comparison, so it's just telling you how many frames this run saved uh, over the previous Best Theoretical Time. Um, I figured that that was something that only like the nerds like me would care about. So if you want to see how much time we've saved since the last run, you can watch it at the YouTube link when it gets posted at the end. What I thought was really cool is that Shaden is in this video. Shaden is in this video. I can't believe they found like a fucking wake up section by Shaden that they could include in here. That's so cool. All right. Standard speedy stuff. I want to learn some of this stuff for myself too because the lines are really important. Like, look at that. Like, the fact that he was able to... Or sorry, they, I shouldn't assume. They were able to stick to the fence like that. That probably saves a lot of time. Fancy, fancy, very nice. <laughs> God, I love that so much. I love that so much. <laughs> For some reason, if you just, like, you can stick the hat. Um, you can stick the hat to that block and it just shoots off to, to that, um, to the capture. It's weird. I don't understand how it works, but it does. Ooh, the double spin throw. Very nice. Beauty. And Cap Kingdom's already done.
Yeah, not even a 211. Reset. Reset. It's going to be a 212 cap. Beauty. This is Mario Party music. Let's go. Hold on a second. What's going on? Oh! Oh, shit! The surface clip! That's hot. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Gosh, how hard is that to do? That was sick. One point three, it's really difficult, I bet, yeah. Tyrone has the fastest DSS of all time, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Yep, little roll cancel action just because. Love to see it. And the fastest uh Madame Brutal fight? Okay. Yo, who's excited for Kirby to come out, by the way? This music's got me jamming. We're going to see a lot of Tyrone. Yeah, Tyrone is an Italian pasta robot um, specialized in going fast in the video game. So, Interesting stuff. I wasn't expecting that surface clip. That surface clip is hot. Yo, Mitch, let's go. All right, come on, Mitch. Let's see. Oh. Getting the super high up warp just so that you can... Oh, man. Of course. Notice how far left. Notice how far left that, that chess clip was. Just so that he's like a couple of inches closer. That's what makes that possible. Yo, Tyrone getting the mashing segment? Oh my god, let's go! <laughs> Five oh five cascade exit. Five oh five. For context, I leave cascade at like five eighteen on a good day. Move my face cam above the splits. You just want you you don't want my face here, do you? I think people can watch if they want to see how many frames are saved. You can you can watch it on your own time. This is the only place I felt like my face was okay. I feel like the the amount of frames. This is cheese star, by the way. G-Star is kind of known for being the guy who does this room. So. <laughs> kind of fast. Kind of fast, though. Damn. This whole segment, you have to do this entire segment all the way to the dune as well. That's hot. That was really good. Especially with the ground pound down like that. Ugh. 
Ugh. Ugh. Gross, man. It's so good and yet so bad. 42 frames saved on this one, by the way. The side flip? Okay. Okay. What is happening? Hold on a second. Okay, so we're going in a different direction with this. He just left the moon behind. Oh, that was nasty. Oh, that was so nasty. Do you not want those coins over there, bud? You don't want the... You don't want the coins? Two frames of lag? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh, that's dirty. Oh, that's so gross. Yep, of course. Of course, dude. Of course. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, that clip sucks so much. Okay, you get the coins there instead. Huh. So BTT doesn't even do the Oasis at all, huh? Fascinating. That looks really fucking hard, though. That looks really, really tough. Also, Eagle Gamer made it into the best theoretical time video. Let's go. 924, sand exit. For context, my best is 958. <laughs> Yo, let's go, Eagle Gamer, making it into BTT a couple of times. Let's go. All right, Lake Kingdom. Let's see what you got. Ooh. Keep the hat nice and close so you get that vault nice and early. Oh, the spin throw is so nasty, man. Okay, this says it saves 137 frames. Oh, it's because he's doing the triple jump. That's right. Oh my gosh. I forgot about this. The triple jump moon clip is so gross, man. Tyrone, when are you going to start doing that? Oh, that was so nasty. Oh, that's actually a good idea, keeping the camera off the fish so that the fish is right there. That's smart. That's smart. That's a big brain play right there. Eight frames, it says, Tyrone. Also, yeah, this is... This is so goofy. <laughs> so, yeah, you can kind of just talk to the, the lady through the wall. So, that's the thing. <laughs> All right, so Sand Kingdom already blew my mind. I can only imagine what Wooded Kingdom is going to be like.
1202 Lake Kingdom. It's like, you're a fucking god gamer if you can get a mine, like a sub-13. BTT almost gets a sub-12 Lake Kingdom. Alright, I'm curious. I'm curious what kind of shenanigans are planned for Wooded Kingdom here. Let's go Psionic. Mmm, I like that. That cap return jump was nice. Super, super clean. Psionic has this entire section. Dude, it's just Psionic's wooded. That's it. Let's go, baby. Boing, boing. Clean. Super, super clean. Oh, I remember seeing this clip posted. Oh, nasty. Oh, that's so gross, man. Oh. Hello? The spin throw? Oh. Oh, I love that so much. Oh. Oh, that movement is so slick, man. It's not even fair. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, I don't think that was on purpose. <laughs> that doesn't feel like it'd be on purpose. <laughs> oh, the triple jump, that's right! The clip out of bounds. Yep. Oh, that's so nasty, man. Here we go. Roll boost, FRS, double roll boosts that saves like 0.5 seconds. Oh, and the instant break too. Nuts. You can do that, wait, you can make that without the cap throw? Really? Oh, the vault, sexy. That was hot. Boo -do 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 -do. Nice, good lines, good lines. Ooh, the roll cancel. Okay. Oh, of course. Oh my goodness. I don't think you understand how many like frame perfect things had to happen for that to go right just now. Like that was nuts. Oh, and that also is more or less RNG because, like, the the angle that you're facing when you enter the water is the angle that you get. Also, yeah, there's this. Another triple jump uh, moon clip. Yeah, we've done how many moon clips? We've done four moon clips. Two of them were in wooded. No, three. Wait, how many moon clips are in wooded? Just in wooded. There's three, right? This is, this is the fifth one we've done all run. Most Odyssey, Super Mario Odyssey, any percent runners will have done three in the t in one run, but we've already done five, and we're only leaving wooded at sixteen thirty one. By the way. <laughs> God damn. All right, cloud can't be anything substantial, right? Like cloud kingdom is just cloud kingdom. Woo! 
Nice boost. Let's go. Yep. Get the hint art. Nice. Strabmanip. Of course you get Strabmanip in the BTT. Of course you do. Very nice. All right. Lost Kingdom is a doozy. Lost Kingdom in any percent looks like chaos. I can't wait to see what BTT looks like for this kingdom. Vault off the tree, yeah. Mm-hmm. Beauty. Oh. The only problem with that is that you have to turn your camera all the way around, so while it's theoretically possible, it would still suck. Like, just barely grabbing that moon on that tree. That's always so scary to do because... All oh, the movement, man. Oh, that's so gross. He, like, lands halfway on the other stair so that he can roll cancel off of it. That's pretty slick. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the spin pound. Oh, I like that. The spin pound off the rock. <laughs> I like that too. That's just cheeky. That's just cheeky. English in the BTT? Wait, who, who was playing in English? Excuse me? Mitch was playing in English? What is this guy doing? <laughs> Alright, so Lost is just like really fancy looking. It's that's basically what Tyrone does. Tyrone just does BTT Lost. I like the music choices. Oh, Okay, okay, Jambo. That was pretty hot, not gonna lie. Oh, the up throw roll cancel. Okay. Tyrone, can you settle down for like just a second, please? <laughs> oh! Oh, <laughs> the roll cancel bounce, dude. No way. No shot. Oh, that's hot. So Metro is like a shitty kingdom to speedrun. Oh, yes. Oh, I love this. Okay, ready? Spin. P yep. Oh. That's like task level movement right there. The patented fur strat. Fur was, like, the only any percent runner that I knew that would, like, bother to do that. Oh! <laughs> so it was recently discovered. I don't know how recent. Um, but if you kill the Wiggler by shooting the opposing sections and then finishing off in the middle... It saves time. You're gonna have your mind blown by this pattern. Tyrone makes this look like a fucking joke, dude.
There was even a Wiggler on the screen? I don't know. I think you need to check again. speed of sound oh it's the non-lyric version of course is that because you wanted me to do the karaoke is that why i only know the first le like line of the song so oh i like that i could start doing that that roll cancel was nice oh that's right metro is like dumb routing dummy dumb routing look at this Yep, just slip through the wall. That's fine. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, that was really pretty. That was really pretty. The dive into the instant slurp. That was hot. Requires a, uh, oh my gosh, what is this? Hold on a second. The dude, like, just bounce on the guy's head? What was that? That is not the way I've seen you do that, Tyrone. That was nuts. Hey, Tyrone, in this run, you, you golded the people room split. I'm proud of you. All right. I don't even know. 2642 Metro. Yeah. 2642, by the way. My best is like, I think, 28.59. That movement sucks, by the way. It's like my least favorite thing. <laughs> I 
Mario, what happened? You you turned into Albert Einstein in his underwear for this segment. Oh. Oh. Sometimes you just, like, you watch something and you're like, God damn. Like, it makes you feel sick to your stomach, but in a, like, a, I just watched something so incredible kind of way. You know what I mean? Also, you're probably wondering why they're going into the shop first. Um, don't worry about that. You're about to find out. Okay, that, no, you need to stop. You need to stop. You, you're not allowed to play the video game anymore. Put the controller down. Go touch some grass, my friend. Goodness gracious. That was too sick. That was too good. That was another one of those, like, sick to my stomach moments. Too good, man. Oh! Those dives came out so fast, dude. I've been talking about doing this in my own speedruns, because, like, facing the camera away and getting the dive can save so much time. Believe it or not, this is how I see you play. I'm not quite to this level yet. This is, like, a couple steps up from me. <laughs> So, we got the shop first, and you want to know why? Also, that was a wonderful pipe suck. Because this room has some shenanigans. First of all, I did not know you could make this jump, so that's pretty cool. Are right, you ready for this? This is disgusting. Oh, he makes it look so easy, man. Oh, <laughs> the vault? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, no way, dude. Oh, that's so sick. So does Eel just really like Snow Kingdom? I feel like Eel had half of the segments in there. That was gross. That was gross to watch. That movement from the parasol up to the treasure chest, all of that did not make any sense to me. He broke the game to do that. All right, seaside time. Are you ready for Cheese Star to smash it out of the park with the other Rumble Room? Good song choice, by the way. Oh, no way! Oh, that vault is sick, dude. I want to learn how to do that. Oh, that was so sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. You ready? Insta dive to the left. Beauty. What do you even say? All right, Tyrone, this segment, by the way, BTTV version 7 comparison, minus 437 frames. Uh, this segment requires you to do everything. So he's going to be doing this. Oh. How do you do that movement so clean, Tyrone? You need to teach me.
Yep. So that that is fish and dips. That was brand new for this BTT. Oh, you can get both of those with one attack. I like that. Okay. Not bad. Two fifty eight Seaside Kingdom. Thirty three forty seven Seaside Exit. This is entering territory where I stop paying attention to where my like my exit splits are. I have them open though. My seaside exit is 3659 in my PB. <laughs> so they're already three minutes ahead. Oh, a couple extra roll boosts in there. Oh, and the up throw. That's nasty. The spin pound is actually a really good idea. You should not be able to get away with that. That hurts my soul to watch. Woo! Okay, I like that. If I could learn how to do that. So, if you guys watch me, you don't get to see this route. This is the spiritless route. Oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that was so nice. Remember when Door had that segment? Rest in peace, Door. Oh, you can just roll across the vegetables, apparently. Oh, that movement is so slick, man. I'm surprised you wouldn't do, like, the ground pound thing, the, the task ground pound. Can some... Wait. Can, was that... Was that legal? I don't think that was legal. I love that the trick jump here is actually the fastest thing you can do. That's so, so cool. Turning the camera around. Actually pretty smart. Yep. Here's some shenanigans. Yep. <laughs> I'm cooming. Yo, Cheese Star, let's go! You exited the room faster than anybody else! I remember watching this particular segment get broken on... on Twitter. Oh, that's brilliant. There's so much crazy stuff in luncheon, dude.
So I guess because you got the cheese room, you can skip the shop. Is that right? Oh, I remember this being found too. This is like, you're never going to be able to do this RTA. Oh, that's so nasty. Oh, that's so nasty. <laughs> no way, dude. Oh, the vaults. The vaults make me sick to my stomach to watch. Oh, man. I wish I could do them consistently. Too fast. Too fast. He got a cap return jump. He anticipated that. Excuse me. Okay. Yo, Nicro, let's go. <laughs> Shout out to Nicro. Imagine getting a BTT version eight segment when you still have a 103 PB. This happened like 4,000 years ago, dude. Yeah, and Shaden is in this video at the very beginning too. All right, isn't this Hey There's Kingdom? Yeah, I was gonna say. We're probably gonna see mostly Hey There here. I mean, this is still Ruin Kingdom, so it's still pretty sleeper. The most impressive thing that's going to happen is, like, how Hey There pulls the swords. Yeah, I guess we can use this time to talk about tasks. There's some people in the chat talking about tasks. Um, the reason the best theoretical time kind of exists in the first place... Yo, David, let's go! Um, ...is because tasks didn't really exist for Super Mario Odyssey when... Um, ...when we started running it. There is a viable way to do tasks now. And so there are some things in the works... We haven't put together a comprehensive task run yet, but a lot of the game has been figured out. It's just a matter of getting it all done. So we will see tasks in the future. How do you do spin jumps? Spin jumps, you just spin the control stick twice around. You Mario starts spinning, and then you, and then you jump. Yeah, we use them everywhere in the speedrun, Adam. You just never see them because we ground pound right after. Ooh. Nice Joy-Cons, hey there. People who speedrun with Joy-Cons are another breed. Look at how fast he mashes, dude.
Eagle Gamer getting all the mashing segments. You love to see it. Yo, Buster, let's go. Okay. Okay, I like that. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> the vault off of the, the lantern into that? Okay. Okay. Too good, dude. Too good. I wish I could get that consistent. That movement's really hard. Like, you don't have very much space to work with. It's amazing that you have enough space to get that. That roll cancel around the corner is really slick, though. Yes, the strat. Look, he's, like, right on top of the moon as he shakes Cappy. Like, the positioning could not be any better. Fantastico. All right, a little Bowser dram, anybody? Oh, the triple. Okay. Okay. I liked that. Little roll cancel action. Yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you stop cheating in the children's video game, please? <laughs> Unacceptable behavior. But Sarbombo was not in, um, also English in the BTT again. Sarbombo was not in the last BTT. So, that's new. But I mean, the way that, that Relaxmas just did it, I don't even know what was happening. Also, BTT does Harriet first, and therefore, it's the best. I don't know what to tell you. Anybody who does Topper first is doing it wrong, according to the BTT. So, All right, Tyrone. Show us the goods. Show us the new strats. Ooh, that's nice. So there's movement to get out from under these crates now. Tyrone does this in his runs. I don't know if Tyrone does that in his runs. That was nice. Oh, Toby Tech, yo, let's go. You can see the holes in the wall. <laughs> He's done this already. <laughs> oh my god, dude. No shot. <laughs> oh, grabbing just the, the, the edge of that platform was something else. Side flip, very nice. Oh man, that was nasty. 
Holy buckets. All right. Now, this is something that I should start learning right now. So Tyrone's going to get this hit. And then go into the middle and ground pound jump like that. And you, because of that, you can just dive. You don't need to do the two, like the cap bounce dive. You can just dive. Tyrone says it's easy. You should do it with the cap throw. Yeah, I think you're right. Like, instead of just a regular dive, you do a cap throw dive. <sighs> yep, curb segment coming up right here. You ready? This segment will never die. Little Curb's got the, like, the perfect frame mashing for this segment. So Little Curbs is immortalized within BTT forever. Forty nine thirty three Bowser's exit. Sub fifty Bowser's. No big deal. Yo, it's Doge. Mr. McPhee getting minus 11 frames on a mashing segment. Excuse me. Let's go to Miles Pro. Miles Pro, always the goat. The Moon Kingdom prodigy. Look at that vector. This has to be one hell of a segment. Because, like, there's nothing in between this stuff, right? Like, you kind of just have to go to the cathedral. This is a huge-ass split. <laughs> oh my goodness, relying on that vault. Nasty, dude. I don't know what the heck is going on here. In uh, What is that? Triple X is also a moon god. Triple X and Miles Pro, if they combined together, their child would get like three minute moon kingdoms. I want to learn the triple jump strat at the beginning of this fight. <laughs> Yo, frame rate got destroyed. Let's go. <laughs> Who needs frames anyway? <laughs> The moment we've all been waiting for, the escape sequence. Oh, is that a spin pound out of the cutscene? Okay. Okay, Mark Lucas, settle down. Nice choice of music. I'm I'm a fan.
This ain't anything new. We've seen 2DSS before, but I think the way that Miles does it, you're gonna pop your pants a little bit. Double jump instead of the triple. Disgusting, dude. It's Saturday night. Triple X pillars. Let's see. Oh, yes. I I like that he can start moving this way. That's like the only thing that I'm missing from my pillars to make it even better is that I don't move to the left at the start. But look at how, it, like, they're so quick to that third pillar that there's nothing in the way. Like, that's the problem with, like, the way that I do it is there's stuff in the way. That was nuts, dude. There you go. GG's everyone involved. Goodness gracious. Okay, have a little dance party for the credits. Why not? Fifty-four fifteen. At this moment in time, what we could consider to be the perfect Super Mario Odyssey speedrun done by human beings. If you made it this far in the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more awesome Mario speedrunning content. If you'd like to watch the best theoretical time video without my commentary and webcam over it, I've left the link in the description below. A lot of time, effort, energy, and love goes into these presentations, and everyone involved deserves a lot of credit, so please go give them some love. I'd also like to shout out my patrons on Patreon, the name scrolling along the left side. With their help, I'm able to continue making videos just like this one, so my heart goes out to all of you for your support. Thank you so much for watching.